I really enjoy sweet and sour and I'm going to show you how to make a beef sweet and sour with some rice. Uh, the sauce can be made ahead and it keeps really well. So for the beef we're going to talk about first of all, this is the strip loin steaks and these are part of the Simply Better collection. They're from Ball and Robe, Jennings Butchers and Borbia Quality Marks. So you have that lovely marbling of fat which gives a flavour, it's a lovely cut, it's tender, it's succulent and all I've done is literally cut two steaks into roughly about the size of your thumb maybe a little bit bigger, but they're cut into nice little strips. So they are, so roughly the size of your thumb. Before I begin to cook them, I wanna get the sauce on. Really, really quick, really, really easy, and uh, so tasty. So a good drizzle of oil here. So I'll just oil up my pan, I'm not gonna use it yet. Um, into this, we're gonna put one onion, which is diced, and I have a red, green, and yellow pepper, which I've just literally cut into nice big chunks. No need to cut it too small. Um, if you just like red pepper, you know, some people might like green peppers. So that's one of each that I've here. That's gonna go in there. And then some garlic. So we're gonna crush a couple of cloves of garlic. So this is gonna be the base for the sauce. I'll just give it a little stir there, just to get the cooking process. So you can see they're nice big chunks. This is a recipe that we make actually in the cookery school. And we do it with chicken. So you can do this with chicken, turkey, even pork, but with the beef I think it'll work really, really well. And the students love it. So I'm just gonna literally crush two cloves of garlic and that just scrapes in there. And then the same now for the next one. So just peel your garlic and then literally put pressure onto it, rock it over and back. And then you're gonna have the easiest crushed garlic and the most delicious garlic. And of course, garlic is so good, so healthy for you. Now, so that's just the base going in here, a little bit more oil, I think. And I'm gonna literally just give this a little stir and put the lid on this just for a minute or two just to get the cooking going. Okay, onto our steak. So this is our little strips, as I say, two strip lines I have here, and I've cut them into, if you just zoom in there, Mella, kind of like a nice, more than a bite-sized piece, but there's a nice little strip. So good hot pan. We're gonna put a little bit of oil in there, a little bit of butter, should I say, into the oil, and then just make sure it's nice and hot. So we're gonna spread this all over and then we'll season this up. So it's gonna get a nice color, that's really important. Just spread it all over the pan, actually, I'll turn up the heat there. This cooks very, very quick, and that's the beautiful thing about this recipe. Yeah, so that's my two steaks. Spread them out, good pinch of salt. And just let that just, don't turn it yet, let's get back onto our sauce. Now, so I can smell that garlic, I can smell the onions and the peppers. Now we're gonna to start to add in our ingredients. Tomato puree, one tablespoon. Brown sugar, this is for sweetness. So that's gonna go in there. I wanna show you two of the ingredients we're gonna use here. This is a ginger and soya sauce. And I'm gonna use two tablespoons of this and give it a really good shake. This is from an Irish company called Full On Foods. So I'm gonna put one of the large spoonfuls of this in here. And then the same for the balsamic vinegar. So probably thinking balsamic, oh, that's a wee bit different, but it works really well. So a large spoonful of this. So this is a three year old balsamic vinegar. And I just love the flavor of this and it gives it a lovely color too. So don't be panicking if you add too much vinegar in, you can counteract it with more sugar or vice versa. Now we will put in pineapple and I'll talk about that in a moment. So just give this a stir. You can see the way the, the um, tomato puree just kind of goes around and just kind of catches. Just give it a good stir. Can of tomatoes, these are the best, the San Marzano tomatoes. I love these, these are just so delicious. So a full can goes in there and then I'm gonna put the same amount of water into it. Yeah. So these San Marzano tomatoes are definitely always worth having in your cupboard. Give this a stir, let's see how we get on. Then we're gonna stir our, or turn our beef. So let's have a little look at that. It's a nice bit of color. You can add in more vinegar, you can add in more soya. I think it does need a bit more soya. Okay, that'll be one of the large, another large spoon there. That will give lovely richness to the sweet and sour sauce. Now, so I'm gonna let that come to the boil. We're gonna flip over our steaks. See the way they're kind of sealed in? 
and then just flip them over and that butter will give the most beautiful flavour with the rapeseed oil. And I'm keeping the pan nice and hot. Okay. So let them just flip over. They won't take long to cook. No need to cover them. Season them up at the last minute. And I forgot to say, when you're cooking any kind of steak, is always have it at um, room temperature. So those strip loins, so if you look at the cut that I'm using, I've trimmed off this bit of fat and I've cut it roughly the size of my thumb, like that. Little strips like that, okay? Works really, really well. I like the sweet and sour. I'm gonna switch that off now, the steak, okay? Because I want to keep it slightly pink. But I want to um, show you just some pineapple, how to prepare some pineapple. So I'll just give this a little wipe. So for the pineapple, everyone, how do you know when it's ripe? So first of all, you feel it and then just go into the center of the pineapple and then when these come out easy, that's a good tip for you, that it's nice and ripe. So we're going to just top, remove the top and then we're going to remove the bottom here. And pineapple, I think, is gorgeous. It kind of cuts through the richness um, and it gives lovely acidity, that's the word, to the sweet and sour. So do the same here. This pineapple is just perfectly ripe so just take a little bit more off there and then what we're going to do everyone we're going to just literally go round down along the side and i'm using the serrated edge knife for this because i think it's a little bit easier see if you use your big chef's knife honestly it bluntens really really quickly so just be careful of that hold it nice and tight now you can use a can of pineapple and you can use the syrup in that and you might cut back from using um too much sugar then if you want to use that that's absolutely fine but fresh pineapple is so delicious when you get it really nice and ripe so that's it more or less done i'm going to move that out of the way we're going to cut this into nice big cubes so i don't need all of this so what i'll do is just literally cut it in half and then move that out of there and then into nice big wedges but i'm going to remove the center stem here just using your big chef's knife makes it easier and then cut it into nice cubes, big chunks. It's exactly what you want. So bring it over. This is just half the pineapple I'm using. And this sauce is great, and we'll have a look at it in a moment because it keeps really, really well in the fridge. It'll keep for five, six days, which is great. So even if you have some leftover roast chicken or even some roast beef, you can add it actually into it. So that's our lovely cubes of pineapple. Can you see that? Nice big chunks of it. Mm. Mm. I just love it when it's sweet and soft and so delicious. Okay, so let's give this a little stir. Then in goes our beef. And then we're going to stir this through. So we want to let this kind of just cook for literally a minute or two. You want the peppers that there's a little bit of texture. I'll just add in the pineapple. A nice big chunk so bring over your knife and pop this in here and then we're going to thicken it so i don't want a really kind of a watery or a gloopy um sweet and sour we want a nice little bit of thickness so what i've done is i've mixed a little bit of corn flour with some cold water now remember the first time i was using corn flour i was thickening a beef stew and my mother asked me to thicken it and i just got the corn flour and i flung it in and the whole corn flour went all lumpy, so you're going to mix it with cold water. So just a little bit of this just will help thicken it up. But I don't want it gloopy, that's really, really important. And then just put the lid on this here. And then I'm going to let this come to the boil. I have seasoned the beef, but we'll just season the sauce. We're going to serve this with some rice, which I'll talk about in a moment. And then I like to finish it with some lovely fresh basil. So the most important thing about this is that you taste the sauce. So if you have too much, if it's too sharp, that means you have too much vinegar, so you add more sugar. If it's too sweet, you add more vinegar. So just taste it. Don't be afraid to taste it. And it's all to your own taste buds. I have lime here. You can add lime into it. We don't usually in the cookery school, but I have it here if you think it might add lovely freshness to it. Usually I put lime into a curry, which will work really, really well. And I'm just gonna get some of this lovely basil. And we're gonna chop this. You could use coriander. Just give your knife a little wipe and then we're going to chop this nice and small. So basil is delicious, one of my favourite herbs. So watch the fingers. 
So we're going to chop it over and back, so rock it over and back on the board. So I used one red pepper, yellow and green, and then also I put into that so a couple of cloves of garlic. I used two, you can use three or four, and then one small onion. So that was the base for that. The can of tomatoes, the soy and ginger, which is delicious, the balsamic vinegar, and then that lovely kind of brown sugar uh, gives a lovely bit of sweetness to it. Now, this is looking good. Bring over your lovely basil. And then we just literally stir this through here. So you can see it's not gloopy. Now I want to put a little bit of salt into it. And there's a nice little bit of a crunch and a texture from the peppers. If you think they're a little bit undercooked, you can cook this for another five, 10 minutes, but don't overcook it. It doesn't need to be, um, to be, to be too heavy, too gloopy. Just a tiny little bit more corn flour, and then we're gonna serve it up. So when you add the corn flour, everyone, it needs to come back to the boils. That's really important. And then my favorite part is to taste it. So you can you see the nice chunks of pineapple? That's it there, and the peppers, and then you have your nice beef. So just get a spoon, make sure to taste it. See the color of it? Mm. I like it because it's really nice and fresh. And if you think when you taste this, oh, it needs more sugar, absolutely add more sugar. So all I've done is just steam some rice. Just a little bit of basmati rice is perfect with this. We're going to put it into a little kind of a, a dish. That's it there, just water. You can use, you've seen me probably doing this with a stock cube, whatever you want to, a little bit of butter, just kind of fluff this up a little bit. Serve it with noodles, serve it with some kind of potato or carbohydrate. But I think with rice, it's hard to beat. Okay, so a nice big kind of like container dish. So literally onto the plate and then just unmold it like that. Now, serve it up. The smell of that is so good. Bring over your plate, you can switch that off. And then just get all that lovely beef, peppers, and see it's not a heavy sauce. That's really, really, really important that it's not gloopy, it's not heavy, it's not too rich. And remember the little tips, if you want it more sharp, you add more vinegar, or you can add the lime. And if you want it more sweet or a little bit more brown sugar. Brown sugar. Now, that's gorgeous. And more of that sauce. And a little bit more pineapple. I love the pineapple. So it's very simple. It's not a difficult recipe. The key is that really lovely beef, and you can do this with chicken. You know, if you want to, if you're doing it with chicken, just finish it with a little sprig of basil. But that is a recipe I think all the family will enjoy. You could actually put in some lovely cashew nuts if you toast them, chop them, sprinkle them over. So that's my beef sweet and sour with the rice and the lovely freshness of the pineapple, the fresh basil. I think this is a recipe all the family will enjoy. So happy cooking and thank you so much.